My name is Randy, and today we're gonna make sock puppets. Let's get started. Gather your materials. To make your sock puppet, you will need a sock. You'll also need some glue, school glue, hot glue. If you don't have glue at home, you can use a needle and thread. You'll need something for the eyes, googly eyes, buttons. You can even draw your own. You'll need scissors, markers and a pencil, some stiff card. You'll need something for the tongue, felt, colored paper, whatever you have at home. And of course, you'll also need decorations, roving, yarn, feathers, pipe cleaners, fake flowers, whatever you have available. Hey you, get out of here. <clears throat> to start, take your piece of card and fold it in half. This is going to make the puppet's mouth plate, which helps keep, keep the puppet's mouth firm so that it's easy to manipulate. Put your folded piece of card with the fold facing towards you down and lay the tip of your sock over it. Grab a pencil and trace around the very tip of the sock. Now we're going to cut through both layers to make a little mouth. If you have very little fingers, you might get some help from some grown-ups to cut through the cardboard. It's a little stiff. Next, we're going to flip our sock inside out and put a little bit of glue on the inside fold of your mouth plate. Very carefully glue the tip of the sock to that inside fold of your mouth plate. So it looks like this with the fold going around the tip of the sock. You'll add a little bit of glue on either side of the mouth plate. Stick it down on the sock. And same on this side. A little bit of glue. And stick it down. Sandwich that sock in the mouth plate. Now, carefully turn your sock back the right way out, and there you have a little mouth. <laughs> now we're going to give our puppet some eyes. I think I'm going to choose these two eyeballs that I drew. To choose the best spot for your puppet's eyes, put your soft puppet on your hand and you have a look at it. Think about where you want to put the eyeballs. Be careful because if you put them too high up, the puppet will always be looking up at the sky and it's hard to do really good puppetry with your puppet. So put them a little more forward like the puppet's looking straight ahead. Now, don't put your puppet's eyes on while your hand is still in the puppet, especially if you're using hot glue. Instead, Take one of your markers and think about where you want those eyes to go. I think I'm going to put mine really kind of close to the mouth. So draw a mark on your puppet where you want those eyes to go. Something like that. And take the sock off before you put the eyes on. Let's give this a try. Now be careful, it might still be hot in there, so don't put your hand in until the glue is dry. There we go, what do you think? Ooh, the glue's pretty cute. Next, we're going to work on the puppet's tongue. So, grab your felt or colored paper, whatever you have. I think I'm going to use a little piece of this pink felt and draw on 
what you think a tongue shape might be. I think my puppet is going to have an oval shaped tongue. Then cut it out. Again, you might want to get a grown up to help you if you have little fingers. It's delicate work here. Then we are going to glue the tongue into the puppet's mouth. And again, if you're using hot glue, be very, very careful not to touch the glue. What do we think? Pretty cute. You can try it on, have a look at how it's sitting in there. Having a tongue inside your puppet's mouth is really great. It helps the audience see when the mouth is open and makes your puppet more interesting to watch. Ha <laughs> ha! Next comes the really fun part. Decorate your puppet. So I have lots of stuff to choose from here. Things I found around my house. I think I'm going to use these pipe cleaners and make some fancy eyelashes. So I'm going to cut some smaller pieces of pipe cleaner. Again, be nice and careful with those big sharp scissors. And my eyeballs will still be half. There's a little space behind them. So I'm going to carefully put some pipe cleaner eyelashes on. Oh yeah, that's really fun. Maybe they can curl a little bit. Nice happy puppet. The other eye here. One of my favorite things to put on puppets is a really fun hairdo. I think it adds a lot of fun character to the puppet. So... You can see on this puppet that I made earlier, I just used some colorful rope that I had around my house and I found a fake flower in my house too, so I made a really unconventional hairstyle with that one. I think, I kind of want this one to have, yeah, I think it needs to have a mohawk. Now this is called roving. It's um, wool before it's been made into yarn and it's used for a really fun craft practice called felting. You can make really fun ornaments and stuff if you felt. That's for a whole other video, I'm sure. Okay, what do we think? A little bit of a wacky hair do hairdo. This, I think, will need to be sewn. So I have some, some thread here. it through my needle. I'm going to sew on the roving instead of just gluing it on because you can see it's a bunch of individual pieces, individual little fluffs, almost like you gave your sheepdog a good brushing. It kind of feels like that. Um, so it's really hard to, for glue to stick to every single little fiber in in the roving, but thread and just scoop it all up. So being really careful just to catch the top layer of my sock and not go all the way through and catch the bottom part too, otherwise I won't be able to get my hand in. I'm gonna oh gosh, these eyelashes are very pokey. going to very carefully sew on my hair. You can also draw on your puppet with markers if you've got some maybe some permanent markers or fabric paint anything like that you can draw on give your sock a whole wacky new design to fit whatever character you're making 
And if you're feeling a little stuck about what kinds of, of hair or different character things you want to give your puppet, just play around. You don't have to commit to anything. You can use maybe some tape um, just to attach things for a little while, play around with it, see if you like it. There's no need to commit right away. We've got lots of time to work on our sock puppets. Okay, let's see how my hairdo worked out. That is pretty great, I think. <laughs> like a little bit of a glam rock sock puppet here. All right, and that's it. Just like that, you have your very own sock puppet. Can you say hi? Hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, let's say goodbye. <laughs>